If you're looking for watch-alongs of all your favorite shows, head over to our Patreon. Free accounts get reactions and interactive content. The premium tier unlocks early access to all our latest stuff and a fun Discord community. You can even keep up with Cat and the Gang as we dive into video games. Be sure to sign up for free on allagesofgeek.com and make your own account. So come on and geek out with us. It won't be the same without you. So according to our Discord, um, guys, um, yeah, supposedly uh, this this chapter is going to emotionally wreck me, and I'm not I'm not ready. I don't know why. Supposedly I'm supposed to have fun with this. Hi, Dan Fear. I'm, I'm I'm shouting you out because you said I'm supposed to have fun with this episode. It is like 19 minutes, so that is kind of going to call for how long it's gonna be. I mean that that's it looks like it's literally 19 minutes, so it's almost 20 minutes of freaking information and as we do know ruby tends to have a lot going on in each episode due to the fact that some episodes are shorter than the other so i'm really wondering what you mean by that but hey guys welcome back to all age geek academy i can't speak welcome back to all age geek academy welcome back to ruby analysis and watch alongs um and yeah we're moving on to chapter five of volume eight i can't believe that we are here i just let you guys know we were informed that uh rooster teeth will be taking a break supposedly about um until january i think no february right so I'm wondering what do you guys want to see here, especially on Patreon. We definitely want to actually add more just Patreon exclusive type things such as like the crack videos, um, funny videos from Ruby, I mean I still have to do more of the manga reviews, there's still more for the, the soundtrack releases. So I'm wondering what you, would you guys like to see here on Patreon, leave a comment down below. Um, I'll probably make like a separate post about this so you guys do know that you're still getting content. We're going to also do more Red vs. Blue, we're moving on to Season 2 for that. Um, so that's something you guys could definitely look forward to here on Patreon, but if you have any ideas just let us know because that's a long wait. That's really a long wait for more content, but also theorizing things is something I definitely want to start doing. Um, even doing that on the Tooncasters with you guys. So again, to let you guys know, we have the Tooncasters podcast. If you want to be on that while we wait for Ruby to come out, let us know. We'll just definitely do that per once per week. Because our goal is to actually get one podcast episode out per week um, for the Tooncasters. So if you guys want to be on that, especially since you are patrons, if you guys want to star in that, just let us know and you guys can talk freely about your theories of Ruby. But other than that, oh my god. <laughs> So let's read a lot of your comments because the last the last episode was amazing. I love the action of it. I like how everyone in a way is fighting with each other. I like how the fact is like, you know, when it comes to Ren and Yang and everything, I like how it's like we're seeing different sides and how even people on the same team are fighting and pinning each other against each other. So here we go. This is from J James D. Asselandra. Hopefully I said your name right. I butcher everyone's names. Uh, Yang was asking Jean if Blake thought less of her and not Ruby when she said. Okay, so yeah, that's the thing too. I'm wondering how Blake and Yang are interacting with each other, how they actually do view each other. Um, I do think that, you know, when it comes to thinking less of each other at all, um, you know, if they do care for one another, obviously you might not think less of each other, but but also, you know, in, in, a, in a way, it's like they are on different opposition sides, so I'm wondering how they do view each other, because we haven't really got into Blake's POV with all of this. Right now, it's been focused on Penny, it's been focused on Ruby, Yang, um, but we haven't seen much. We actually, we just saw, even Ren and Nora. So, like, the people in the background right now is more like Jean, Blake, and Weiss, it would seem. What the hell is that noise? I'm really freaking scared. Okay, I don't know what- that sounded like a freaking grim. What the fuck was that? Bro, I don't know what that- anyway, so this is from Damn Fear. Another good episode. The Hound continues to be a force of- <laughs> to be reconned with Ren fearing having uh, to be accountable for his actions. I love how Salem come off so intimidating with her fake smile, and it was surprising how they had Oscar get tortured on screen. I know. I know. That's- I know, poor Oscar. Um, my guess is the next time we see Jean and company that the sulfur fish, aka the Grim that won the contest, Ruby ran. Oh, really? Oh, that's awesome. I didn't know that. Oh my god, I gotta. I have to start like seeing what contest they do. That's awesome. Emerge from the ice. Also, I really hope that the Hound is not a former human. We need more Grim that are intimidating Grim because they are Grim, not people. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, I I do like the idea of like, oh, a person can turn into like. I, I'm a huge fan of things like that but i really also like how creatures can develop from their own instincts creatures can develop from like that little pool of this and that if it is an experiment 
Um, Dan Freer, I know you're a fan of My Hero Academia, so that might remind you of certain things that are going on. Uh, I don't, again, I'm talking in circles here because I don't want to spoil anyone, but certain things that are going on with My Hero Academia, especially with the Doctor, that kind of reminds me of that if this is the route that they are going with Salem, if she, if Salem's going to act like as this doctor slash scientist guy. So I'm wondering if they're going with that or she is just piecing Grimm together or she, she said it's an experiment, so I don't know what to expect with that. But honestly, I was so shocked that they put put Oscar on screen to get tortured like that, that is just, that's fucked up in all sense. Like, I am like, whoa, they actually went there. That's how it reminds you that this volume is extremely dark and it's not something to take lightly. You know, they were going to throw in scenes like that. So hopefully this episode doesn't throw that many in, but probably will. This is from D. Anthony Potts. The cracks in ice remind me of the Grim in the mountains in volume three. I think a big bad about to wreck up mantle. Oh, son of a... You're right. What if it's like a throwback to volume- Oh god. What if we're getting more volume 3? You know what I mean? Like, what if we're getting actually more volume 3? You know what I mean? You know what I mean by that? Like, you know what I'm referencing with- What if this is gonna be like- Like, paying homage to volume 3 and just as much torture is gonna- Okay, I can't. I can't relive volume 3. You know I can't. Right, this is from Full Metal Ninja 25. I disagree. I think Ren 100% deserved being called out by Yang because this attitude of I'm right, everyone else is wrong needs to stop. Again, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. I just feel like it is my, my personal opinion, um, which thank like you for sharing yours, is I like how the characters are interacting like that. I like how, because again, they are teenagers, so you have to understand, like, um, when it comes to people being teens, they're going to argue. They're going to they're gonna start, start, start panicking. They're not going to think like adults. Um, but thank you again for sharing um, that opinion because I think it's important that, you know, you could disagree with me and we could talk about it and have friendly, like, debates about it too. So um, I do like how we saw that side of Ren. Um, I think that certain things were not needed to be said. Um, but also at the same time, I think it was needed for us to see how Ren is thinking on a different side and not everyone is always agreeing with each other because that brings more tension to the table. Um, this is also from D. Anthony Potts. That Yang and Ren argument gave me a Ruby, Ruby hater versus Ruby sympathizer vibe. Was that intentional? It feels intentional! Wait, you're right though! Oh my god, because that's the thing. It's like, with the series in general, um, you could be a hater, but then you could be an extreme, like you said, sympathizer here. Um, every series, you could have haters for it, but don't go on and try to ruin an entire series. In the same time, don't go on and say a, a series is 100% perfection because there can be flaws within the series. Um, and I think that it's important to hear everyone else's opinions and not just say, oh, I'm right, I'm right. Just like what we're doing here. I mean, you could disagree with me and I still feel like it is important for us to discuss the disagreements and have like a friendly debate about it. I think that's what makes fandoms fun is not just say I'm right, you're wrong and having this strong side with each other. It's more, and not even just like, cause again, like I don't want fandoms to become like how politics are. I don't want one side to be one side of this and that. It's like fandom should be fun to be able to express yourself um, and show your love for that series. But again, so many fandoms nowadays, it's more like, oh, I'm right, you're wrong. So here you guys can expect, especially with Age Geek, a place where you guys can argue freely, but argue more respectively. So it's like not 100% argue, but more so debate, you know? You're not to like belittle anybody just to make sure that your your responses and everything are respectful like it's some place that you guys can have fun with each other to debate so if you ever feel like you want to get into a debate with somebody just make sure that it is respectful because with me i'll get in a debate with you guys once in a while and i'll always be respectful and in turn say like this is what i agree with but i respect your opinion and also you made some really good points so it's like that's something i want to definitely start practicing more within the community where it's like even if we tend to disagree instead of just like in a way like stopping the conversation it could be more like hey you know i see your side i see yours and then like in a way have that type of debate where it's, it's a friendly fun-filled community because i think that's the that's what's lacking in a lot of fandoms um especially because a lot of people are just like oh this series is perfect and they're not open to criticism and then also oh this series is shit and then not open to even giving this series a chance at all so i think both sides need to actually loosen up some more and also realize that it is important for everyone to just spread kindness with each other instead of just throwing each other under the bus but all right guys let's get started we're watching this over on rooster teeth's site oh my god Oh my god, hold on. Oh god, okay. I'm not ready. Okay, so this is also double tap boop, I believe. Yeah. Okay, so let's just click that one so it knows. Okay. Okay, ready? All right, here we go. Oh boy. <laughs> oh my. 
I keep forgetting that there's no like less time on Ruby. And that's something I would love to see. Cause I think I think that gives more like, especially for people who like, I don't know who does that, because I would never do that, like skip through the series. Um, but it would be like if you accidentally skip an episode, I think having less time on Ruby would help. Um, but I don't know about their show time, you know. Because the production time you have to realize, um, when running production and even having show times for each. It's you have you have an amount of showtime you could see. Oh god, Oscar, and it makes more sense now. You know what sucks though about that? Here I am saying, oh boy's about to be tortured because of that intro, and then you're all like, oh shit, it happened that fast. So great. Also, something I want to point out <laughs> for Ruby. I appreciate how many white-haired characters they have because in anime in general, you hardly can find any. I appreciate that. More more series need like that color hair for them. It's not just like, oh, that's a rare anime character. You're like, no, that's what I appreciate. So thank you, Kirby. Oh my god. And to think, there's so many weeks left with this volume. I'm so happy I could do this with you guys now. <laughs> yeah, just let me know what you want to see. Because um, even if you want to send in some videos, um, you could definitely do that. Because like I think for Ruby, there's so much to talk about. And if, even if you want theory videos, I could definitely do that for you guys, because, you know, I don't shut up about things. All right, here we go. In that time, we're definitely going to finish up the uh, soundtrack. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, don't. Don't even. Mm-mm. He's coughing. Mm -mm. And her best idea. Guys, he coughed. That's a bad sign. Oh, that is so cool. Yes, I love you. I love you. One of my faves. Absolutely one of my faves. Oh no. Let's hope it works. Oh no. Ah. Hmm. Uh oh. Good point. I think something's gonna happen to him. He's coughing, and that's a bad sign. I don't know. Oh no. Oh, look how sad she is. Oh, no. Oh, no. Whoa. <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh. oh I See, the little gestures matter. Oh no. Oh, son of a building block. Are you, is it, that's fucking sick. Are you kidding me? Hey, hey. Wait, we're in like a, why is this feel, why am I getting volume three vibes? Stop. I'm getting volume three vibes, stop. Because we're in like a tower, Cinder's here. You know, she's all like, hey bitch. Oh no, I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need this. Mm-mm. Holy shit. Mm -mm. No, we're not dealing with this again. We're not Cinder. Cinder, stop taking everything. Oh, God. Oh, he's so stressed. Oh, he about to snap. Oh, he already snapped. He already snapped. What am I saying? He's about to snap 2.0. Oh, no. Oh, great. Great. No. No. No, no, we're not doing this again. 
Oh, son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Penny's having big moments, though. I love this. Yes, we're going Mecca. We're going Mecca! Oh my god, I love you. Oh! Um, hello, Maria better not die if that's what you're hinting, because I will not be okay with that. Oh no. Oh god, oh god. Oh god. Oh. My. God. Oh, are you shitting me? Now this- Oh my god, stop! Nothing better happen to her because I won't be okay. You're one of my favorite old ladies. Do not- No, 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 no. It's not happening. Neo, go away. Neo, stop. Oh, Christ, oh, stop! No! You don't just throw old ladies- Okay, she's fine. She's fine. She can, she can handle herself. Oh my god, I'm so happy we get to see her fight. Oh no. They go- Yes! <laughs> oh, I love him. Oh no. What? No, 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 no. no dude, 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 dude. Come on, come on. Oh my god, this is amazing. Oh my god, this is amazing. Stop! <laughs> Oh my god, this animation, they fucking- they improved so fucking much, like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Cinder, stop causing me problems, okay? You caused me enough of stress in volume three, honey. You caused me enough of stress. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh. What what are you doing? 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 Stop it. She's laughing. <laughs> I am telling you, she is literally one of my favorite old people, like Roshi. Like, stop. She I oh, I, just, I fucking love Maria. I just love Yes. <gasps> no! Stop, he's a minute. He's a fucking minute. Stop, Cinder! Stop! Cinder, stop! Cinder, I swear to God, you cause so much fucking problems! Oh my God. Ooh. What does that mean? Yes. That's right, Penny. Oh no, stop. How strong is she? Oh, smart! Oh no, oh no, 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 no! No, no! No, that's not- no! No, we're not- this is not happening again! This is not happening- oh, what the fuck, she's bro- WHAT THE FUCK?! What- What the fu- I don't know how to feel right now- STOP! Cinder, stop- stop locking her with your th what are you doing?! She's fine locking her- STOP! Oh my god, Cinder, what the fuck? Um, you don't punch an old lady like that. Even if she is a badass. Oh, yes! Sorry, Neo. I'm on your side right now. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, Cinder, I swear, stop causing me- Oh my god, no. Hey, it's like sh every shonen anime moment. <laughs> Oh, her poor hand. Oh, I love how the lightning is, like, branded to her color. Yes. Ha! Ow, Cinder! Cinder has been singed. Cinder is going to just turn to ash. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Oh, emerald. <gasps> emerald?
Oh, she is just. Oh my god. Oh my god. See how Emerald cried? Do you see how how dedicated she is to her? Oh. Oh. Cinder, you don't know how you don't appreciate the people in your life. Can't they just get peace? Please? Oh, oh my god. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Stop. No. No. Okay. Oh. Oh, please, Penny, don't you die again. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, fuck, don't do that to me. Oh. Fuck. Fuck. Oh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. oh, look at him. Fuck. <laughs> I knew <laughs> one way or another it was going to get me. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, she kissed his head. Oh, I want you to, I want to watch you live out your, you know how hard it is for a parent to lose a child. And if not again, twice, if this, if this kills Penny. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh, Penny, no. Penny, don't do this to me again. I know you have to, but no. How strong is she? Oh. Oh, come on, Penny. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Oh. 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 Oh, Whitley, you're gonna have a moment. He's definitely gonna have character development. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, that was them! Oh my god, we're seeing everybody! Oh my god, Ilya, yes. Oh. Oh, even he's watching! Look at that. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> Is she coming back? It's been way too long. Wait, Felix and I were just talking about that too. Wait, what the fuck? Is she coming back? Oh, she Oh, she want to attack her. Why is that good? What? Oh my god, she's even watching it! She's smiling too. Oh. Oh no, stop. Please stop, don't. 
Please stop, don't. It's even fucking branded! He even branded it! Oh my god. Oh my god, Penny, stop. Oh no, oh no. Oh my god. Oh fuck! Oh, Ty, stop. Oh my god, oh my god, imagine seeing you fuck. Why is this doing this fucking with my emotions? Stop. Stop. Oh. No! 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. No! No! No, I mean, no, no. Oh, for you! No! What? I would stop! No! No! What the fuck, man? I'm gonna pet it like a fucking. <sighs> Winter, great, great look for you, but I am stressed right now. Best best moment though, in a moment of sadness, was Ira just going, "No!" Oh, uh, Watts is gonna break out. Yeah, Watts is leaving. What? Oh no! Shut up! What? Oh no! What is that, guys? Let's not, Yang. Let's not. Oh, you're so cool. What the fuck? That is amazing. Th I think that it that is that is absolutely beautiful. Oh my god. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> um um <laughs> I don't care right now. Uh <laughs> Uh, highlights of this episode, we get to see Maria fight again, because she's the best old lady. Um, we get to hear Ironwood go, No! Let's <laughs> have a little temper tantrum there. Oh, God. Um, so, no, I'm in denial. It's She's not dead. Mm -mm. We're not going back to volume three. I mean, seeing Glinda again, that was great. That was great to see everybody. We saw, Oh, what broke me too was Ty, when he's like, come back to me and everything. Though All these parents are just fucking suffering right now. Oh my god. Oh my- I, You know what I liked about this episode though? It really focused on, like, again, like I was saying, like the- the- the parents in general, but... Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Um, let's talk about this, cause, uh... Oh boy. I'm gonna sneeze. Oh god. <laughs> no, I'm good. Okay, so... <laughs> Basically, what got to me too is Penny's father. Okay, I think something's definitely gonna be happening to him. I mean, there's there's red flags on him. There was red flags on him a while ago, but him coughing is a bad sign. Like, we've seen him coughing before, but it has progressively gotten worse. Um, as we know, he sacrificed half of his soul to bring back his daughter, uh, which also means to us that he is willing to do that probably again. And if he does, he's going to die. Because his goal, like he said, like he doesn't want, he wants to see her live out her life. If I see that, okay, I'm telling you right now, if I see him doing that, I will probably ballistically start crying. If I see that man sacrifice his life for his own daughter, I will be, a, like, I will be, I'll be gone. I'll be hysterical. That will probably be worse. I don't know if it'll be worse than Pura, but it, it will be up there. Because if I see that man sacrifice him, I, I, mm, 
and it's there. You could definitely see that if Penny's not dead, because again, he probably could reboot her, because right now it seems like Watts is in control, but if I see that man die and sacrifice himself for it, mm -mm. You, you, Cat's gone. Cat is gone. Like, it's been hinted. There's been theories that he's going to end up doing this, and I'm just like, I'm, I'm going to be gone. I'm going to be gone. So another thing, too, um, if you realize how he was talking to Penny, um, and this, think about it, this is 19, like, almost 19 minutes. That went fast. That went so fucking fast. But, like, he, um, if you notice how he was, like, touching her forearm when he was, like, when she was upset, gestures matter in a series. So you could definitely see that he is a father, obviously, who is trying to make sure that his daughter is okay. So he went like this. Um, you notice that he was trying to, like, tell her, like, no, I want you to live out your life. How she kissed his head, like, the, the whole scene got me. That whole scene got me. Like, I love him as a character. So, if, again, if anything happens to him, I'm, all, I'm, I'm just warning you. I'm not going to be okay. Uh, another thing, too, is... Maria fighting. Now, we've seen her fight before, um, but I, I do like how they're also showcasing the other characters. I mean, that's something that I do always look for. The minor characters get some kind of importance. It's not just like, hey, main heroes, boom, boom. It's like, no, that's not, that's not interesting to me. Um, and again, like, I, I all, all the time, it's all like, because in Shonen, you, even in the show that we're watching now, it's great because it's like, there's so many characters and they're showcasing all the characters. But like, even if in like a shorter anime series or even in live action, like, this happens even more in live action than it does in, in anime. Um, they don't really tend to showcase a lot of the, like the, outside the main cast. And it's just, even books, like, actually, if we're talking about anything, if we're going to compare media and books, like, well, media, that could be also an under media, but like movies, shows, anime, um, live action stuff, cartoon, whatever it be, and then there's books, it happens more so in books. Um, sorry to say that, but it does. Um, like, right now what they're doing is perfect because they're showcasing Penny's point of view, and the main cast is, like, being minor right now while Penny was the main. Um, they're putting the minor characters and the supportive cast in the spotlight, which I do enjoy, but in books especially, because this is, a lot of authors have, because again, I used to, if you guys don't know, I used to work with books for like five years, so again, if you have any type of advice you want to hear from all the authors I have interviewed and talked with um, over those five years, I'll be happy to like give that knowledge and pass it on to you, especially if you are writers yourselves, but like, if you notice this, it's like in books especially, writers have a habit of doing like self-inserts where it's like they tend to like, I wouldn't just say like the whole Mary Sue, Gary Stu thing, but outside of that they tend to like just have that main cast and just focus on them. And that's something that always has irked me, um, even like when I like talk to some authors, they, were, they would always say like that's something you want to avoid. So I like what they're doing here where they're actually having Maria, the badass old lady, fight. And I think that's such a great way to show that, hey, this is making your character stronger outside of the main cast. While it's important to follow the main cast, it's also important for you to realize that people like Maria have an importance to the story. So I love that. Also, Mecca, so that's a plus for me. Um, another thing, too, is don't serve someone. That's a big thing, because think about this. If we're, if we're talking about androids and cyborgs and, you know, to try to become human or zero, common writer zero one or anything like that, it's important to realize that, you know, if somebody is like a cyborg or something, they're usually they are built to protect, they are built to serve, you know, and that's a sad thing because again with Penny, Penny does have a soul, because if she is made in powers, doesn't that mean she has a soul? Is Penny getting a soul? And why? She's part of him, she's part of her father's soul, so yes, she does have a soul, so she's not just like an android or a cyborg, she actually is part of his soul, part of his aura. So the thing is here with her doing this is saying like I don't like saying you don't have to serve like but Cinder said that it's like she serves she chooses to do this. Cinder made a good point though because if anyone were treating because again like how Ironwood or anyone would treat Penny like oh she you are you have to protect you have to do this you have to do that it's like no Penny is doing for the justice like if if she were to be that way and just do as she is told and serve she would be doing exactly what Ironwood is saying but she has a mind of her own and she's thinking in her own terms to help others, to fight for justice. And that's what I liked about that whole scene, because Cinder was treating her like she was just a cyborg. You were built that way. No, she wasn't built that way. She was born because she is part of her father's soul. She is part of her father's aura. Emeralds. Big point. Big point I want to make about Emeralds. She cried. And you see how she was, like, her, like, she said, I know I cannot beat you, but I can, you, we all know that I can shoot this place down. And that's why Penny gave up and backed up. But Cinder does not realize how important all these people, like, how important she is to her people. Um, she treats, like, again, she doesn't really acknowledge them. So even for Emerald to still be by her side, 
to not even acknowledge her and even appreciate that it's like emerald is so dedicated so seeing that dedication that she has to cinder seeing how much she's willing to take care of her it's like it's very important for like our like again like for our like Obs observation of Ruby in general because it's showing us that even the villains have these bonds with each other but it also shows that w at what length is like Emerald willing to go for Cinder that's a huge thing that I have with this where it's like what length is she willing to go to keep Cinder alive to serve Cinder so I'm like but do you see how Cinder she's like I serve no one I don't smit now and you're like whoa so she's like, again Cinder's gone rogue Cinder doesn't want anything to do with, like, in a way with Salem in general, but again, it's like she's still doing Salem's dirty work, but at the same time, I think that Cinder might leave or do her own thing kind of thing, but like, again, it's like, Neo, Neo too, like, what is Neo up to? You know, you think Neo's gonna stab Cinder in the back? You think that Neo is gonna do, like, again, Neo's just with her right now. Wait, nobody, I can't really read Neo. She's a very, she's a big mystery to me, so I'm wondering if she's gonna turn on Cinder, or Cinder's gonna turn on her, or if there's something going on with this. But again, she still has Roman's hat. So think about that too, like, is, I know Roman's confirmed dead, but again, he could potentially be coming back for somehow, I don't know, I'm not sure if that's possible, but I, I'm still in denial, because I love Roman. Another thing too is, oh, when he said to her, I want you to live out your life that killed me, that got to me. You want to know why? Is because this is a father who wants just to see his daughter be happy in these times. He wants her to have a normal life. He doesn't want her to have to continuously go through pain and destruction any longer. He wants her to live that life, and he doesn't want to lose her again. You saw how you shouted. You said, I already lost you once. I don't want to lose you again. That is a father who is desperate to keep his, his daughter alive, and it's a beautiful thing to say. A dramatic and sad thing to say, but it's a beautiful thing to see. To see this father who feels helpless. To see this father who feels like he can't do what's best for his daughter to help her. And it's really sad to me because him being as he is destroys me personally because it's like he, he really wants to be able to help her, but he knows he can't. He knows in this day and age he can't because Salem is too strong. But he wants to be able to ha have her give her and fight for that life. Give her that life that he can't have because think about it if not closer with each other because they, they're so close but if not closer because she's literally part of his soul she's literally part of him so that bond that they have with each other probably even stronger with each other because it's oh i love him too so it's like i don't want i don't want him to die i'm just like I, if he dies i riot uh, another thing too um the message they were trying to send ruby's message actually got to people which is great i'm so glad they actually got that so that's a win on that situation um, <laughs> the smile on Salem's face, yet again, creepy crawlies on her face. Um, wonder what's going on with Oscar right now, how's Hazel doing? Um, with the, the smile on her face, um, kind of represents when she was, like, petting Tyrion, which is really creepy to me. Um, because again, that's just like, you know, Salem, what are you doing? But, like, Salem's smiling, like, like, she was all like, um, I don't care if you did that. This is, like, part of my plan, I don't care. I don't care, I already won, you bitch. Like, in some way, she's just like, whatever, Ruby. Or she wants this to happen. It's like she wants it, which is really even creepier because she actually is just like, hmm. and you're like, Salem, you want this to happen, girl? Why are you being a bad ass here? Hmm? Okay, so another thing too is Penny. Ha! It's complicated. So think about how. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just thinking of Ironwood. No! <laughs> Best scene, best scene. No, but like with, with Penny in general, it's really complicated. Watts being as he is, he has this little nano chip thing or whatever he puts it. He brands Penny, which is, think about that. He puts his branding in part of, like that's even creepier to think about. He puts his little Watts thing in the W, the little red thing, and he has his branding on it. So think about that. It's creepy because in a way, Watts is branding Penny that's disgusting and wrong. But like Ironwood's losing it. I, like, honestly, Watts is taking advantage of Ironwood. Ironwood is definitely gonna either get stabbed in the back, either die by Watts, or some something that Watts gonna do, like I'll put it back in his cell. It's like no, Watts has some kind of he has some kind of trick out of his sleeve. It's like don't don't underestimate him. But uh, Ironwood is too gone. He's literally gone to even try to see like the things that oh this guy could be using me right now. Like he's not even thinking. He's not thinking straight. So Winter is going out doing this kind of shit. <sighs> All this crap is gonna happen. So obviously with Winter, we're definitely gonna meet, meet up with Weiss. They're gonna have some kind of, in the intro, we see them back to back with each other. We see like, they're look upset. There's gonna be a battle. There's definitely gonna be a battle, but oh my God. Ah! <laughs> Penny, I don't wanna get to this point. Point number nine, Penny. So, I don't, I'm not buying it. She's not dead. She shut down, but I'm not buying it. Her body is still there, but they shut her down. So it's not like she's dead. 
It's not like she's, again, she's probably gonna fall, she's gonna be in pieces again, but I don't think her soul is gone. I, don't, I think she's shut down. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Is it confirmed that she is dead right now? We're not losing Penny again. It's too convenient just to kill her off. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. We're not. I think she shut down the thing. Watts, whatever he put into her, messed up with her system. She might end up going on the bad side, which is more than likely right now. Um, they might be able to control her, and then suddenly she might, you know, what's going to be great to see is like, you know, the type of thing where I'm going to outwit the system, and my own brain and my own thoughts are going to outwit you because it's like I'm no longer a cyborg. You can't control me. And then she's going to be able to outwit um, Watts' like, um, his, his technology. That could potentially happen too. I'm not buying it. I'm really not buying it. Also, a huge highlight for Grim. Grim. All over. What do we got? What do we have with the Grim? We have a Grim River. We have a river where Grim are swimming. And Grim are just all around. I'm really fucking scared. <laughs> Grim River. Which means, as we see, and it's headed towards that place too, so that's great. We've seen Salem... What happened to her when she fell into that, that pool of grim? Now she's bringing it here. Salem is basically branding the- just like how Watts is branding things, Salem's branding things with grim. I'm fucking scared! Uh, that's awesome to see. You know I love creatures. You know I love sci-fi. You know I love any- If you have any, like, suggestions about creatures or anything, please let me know. Anything that's, like, The Last of Us with the clickers or bloater, bloaters. Anything that's with, like, the Grim or the Nomu from My Hero Academia. Like, I want- I want, like, I want more recommendations like that because I live for that kind of shit. Creatures in me, I don't know what it is. I just- I just- I fucking love it. If I'm writing a story, I'm writing a story about that. But here's the thing. When it comes to, like, um... Grim in general, like, to see them even, they're probably breeding in there, and it's just there, it's out in the, what's even scarier is it's out in the open, they're just like, fuck, well, we gotta deal with the river, like, it's not just like, oh, we're like, underground and growing them, it's like, no, they're out in the open, and it's like, Salem's just like, yeah, whatever, I'm just gonna put it here, I'm moving in, Salem's basically, like, yeah, I'm just moving in, man, you can't stop, man, it's like, how long did she plan this? Another episode, another week without fucking Oscar, how's he doing? <laughs> And we're gonna have to wait a very long time. So here's the thing. Uh, during the wait, I don't know how many more. Uh, do we get like more episodes until, or is this the last one? We well, you know we might get one next week, right? Or the entirety of December. Um, but they're they're taking a break until um, February, right? So I want to know what you guys want to see. Do you guys want to see crack videos like the funny videos of Ruby? Do you want to see? Um, more reactions to certain things I haven't seen yet. Be sure to leave, again, anything you want to see, whether it's the manga reviews. I could even start early, because we're going to start the um, the book reviews later. Um, once I do move, we're going to start that. But I, if you guys want me to do that, since there is a wait, I will review chapter by chapter. That's something I definitely want to get into, because I'm really passionate about books, and I have not reviewed a book yet on the channel. So I would love to start with um, with Ruby, but I would love to actually start with... Um, one of the... They're over here. One of the Ruby books. Um, even the anthologies we have, which is more like a manga. So I'm wondering, what do you guys want to see? Because there's there's a there's a time gap. There's a whole thing that the Kruby is not, like, working on. So it's like, I want to know um, what you guys definitely want to see. Leave links down below. I'll totally check it out. Because during this time, it's like, you guys can provide the content. And we'll keep it on Patreon until... Um, Basically, the new episodes start coming out like we usually do. But anyway, friends, I hope you have an amazing day. You stay weird, you stay wonderful, you stay awesome. Until the next video, raise your finger, fan, my fan person, every single day. Bye, guys. Hey, classmates. Before we actually do dismiss class, I have some things I want to say as the credits play down below. Um, so just to let you guys know, yeah, um, this is the outro. Fantastic. So thank you so much for watching this episode here at All Ages Geek Academy. We really, truly do appreciate it. Uh, we love, uh, like, analyzing series, reacting to series, and really adding more to the reactions. As you guys know, I love to fucking talk a lot. But also, as you see, my book of wonders here... We have a lot to discuss and a lot to review together. So if you really love what we're doing, you want more like analytical type of content to analyze every single anime known to man, is that gonna happen? Possibly every episode, oh my God. Be sure to check out our Patreon page where you guys can get access to our Discord server, hang out with us, and we have a lot of events that go on there too. Like usually we have community days on Wednesdays, which is like an hour, two hours usually, we play games together. And then we also on Thursdays, we have a five hour event every single Thursday at 5.30 p.m. Eastern time to 10 p.m. at night where we all talk we all hang out we geek out together we play all these great games um, it is a lot of fun we also watch anime and shows together a lot of anime that doesn't necessarily have to actually be um, immersed within so if you want to take part in that and hang out with an amazing crazy squad um, be sure to here's a few clips from some of our previous patron days if you guys want to see the craziness I'm in a 
Listen. Yeah, I'm Ketchup. I'm, 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 I'm going to stick with Ketchup. Okay, everybody, <laughs> stay away from Cat. She will open fire. I just saw that I'm not even. I'm not even sure if Cat's innocent or not. I don't know why, but it was just so like abrupt. I'm like. I am thou, and thou art I. <laughs> Uh, my leg! Oh, that was a real death. Hey, what's up? <laughs> that was a real death. <laughs> Ding, bro, that was crazy. I, 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 thought, it, I thought that was pretty slick. Trump jumping yeah, yeah, down there. Down. Down. <laughs> Yay, I did it! Oh, the terrorists. <laughs> the terrorists win. I did a thing. I'm the mustard. Wait. Oh, you are the mustard. How, are we playing prop right now? Is that a thing? But yeah, there's a lot of events that go on. And also, if you want to check out more episodes, I don't know where I'm pointing, but should be on one of these sides. Um, be sure to click one of those and check out another playlist where you guys can, you know, if you love this type of series, you can find another series that you know and love. But yeah, just to let you guys know, we love you. We appreciate you. We're happy you're here. And we're happy you're part of the freaking All Ages of Geek Academy. So I hope you can see you guys in the next video. You have an amazing day. And as always, my friends, embrace your inner fangirl. And you're the fanboy. And you're a fan person. Oh, every single day.